know? Yeah. What about the <laughs> they, they did. What a great night we're having. What? Is this the intoxication talking? No. For Rosie's, I like this. I like you. I like you too. In fact, I love you. Yeah. I love you too, buddy. Yeah. Actually, there's something I wanted to tell you. Mariel, I'm so grateful for you. What well, we have is special, and, and I like who I am around you, and I think what I'm realizing is that I'm actually in love with you. What did you think? Ooh, is that JC from work? <sighs> Look, Dion. I know what today is, but what? You confess your love to one girl and she spontaneously combusts on you? I mean, look at it this way. That's the most unlikely thing that could happen. I mean, what are the odds a woman spontaneously combusts twice in your life? Not interested in testing it out. Nope. How did you- Hey Dion, it's Stacy from work. I know you're probably busy enjoying your day off like a loser. Anyways, was seeing if you still wanted to hang out sometime, like a teeny coffee date type thing, because I think it would be stupendous. Okay, talk to you later whore, goodbye! <laughs> My boy, I see you playing, look at you pin. Oh no, stop. I'm not going on any date with anybody. That is the opposite of what I need. What you gonna do, man? Tuck your tail and run away anytime a girl smiles at you now? This is no way to combat your girl problem. I don't got a girl problem. JC isn't the problem. I'm the problem. <laughs> oh my god, not another year of this. Get a new line, you are your own worst enemy. You are my worst enemy. Well. I am you, so you sound real stupid right now, talking to yourself. Wow. What would I do without you and your kind presence this past year? Rot in a hole of uh, self-pity and existential dread. Why are you still here? You clearly still need me, Dion. I got a story about a little old boy. He had a girl. Who brought him joy? And this little dame had him real brave. He said, I love you. Then she went a bang. That boy is sad as hell. He's depressed. His room is a mess. His life is a wreck. Please stop. Sad as hell. He hates himself. He knows that then he'll never love again. Oh my god, fine. I'll do it. I'll go. Where the fuck did you even get a harmonica from? Bitches love dudes who plays instruments. They also like not to be called bitches. Well, that's quite chauvinistic of you. Assume what a woman may or may not want. <laughs> Mm. 
And then, before I could say yes to his proposal, this eagle flying by dropped the turtle it was carrying. Boop! Right on the head. It killed him instantly, right there in the gondola. What are the odds of that, you know? Damn. Damn. But, yeah. After that, I never thought I could love again. I was in a hole of self-pity and existential dread. Ha. Huh. I knew it. Shut the hell up. No. Sorry. That was for me. Like, you know, to myself. Like, I talk to myself. Some. Sometimes. Smooth. No. I get it. I did the same thing for a long time. This might sound weird, but it was like there was another version of me hanging around in my head after it happened. How interesting. I actually, I think I really get that. Really? Oh, cool. <laughs> so, Dion, what else have you been up to today? Well, you know, just chilling, listening to music. I actually just started picking up the harmonica. Really? <laughs> yeah, no clue where that came from. It just happened, you know? For no reason. Oh my gosh, that's so impressive. I effing love the harmonica. <laughs> How weird. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the coup is right. Well, you'll have to play for me sometime then. Sure. What's your favorite coffee color? I'd say my favorite right now would have to be. It's really good. It's like. Good night.